welcome back to the class on a power semiconductor drives in this lecture we are going to discuss about the shatter voltage control of induction motor by using ac voltage regulator and soft starting of a induction motor initially we are going to see how the single phase ac voltage controller is operated so this is the circuit diagram this is the input voltage these are the anti parallel axis p1 and p2 this is the single phase induction motor during positive cycle the input voltage t1 is powered by us so we have to apply the tagging voltage to t1 it will be turns off when this current is come to the zero during negative cycle of the input voltage p2 is powered by us so during negative cycle we have to apply the tagging voltage to the the delay angle between the t1 and the t2 is the only difference so to understand the operation of the single phase ac voltage controller we have taken the y axis and x axis we have taken the angle we have taken the vertical dotted line at angle pi and 2 pi because we want to draw the how the output voltage and the output current will be changes within the on cycle this is the input voltage firing angle which is applied to the t1 because during the positive cycle the input voltage t1 is powered by us this is the pulse which is applied to the t2 during the negative cycle the input voltage t2 is the powered by us so if you want to draw the output voltage and the x axis you have taken the angle we are assuming that at this point angle alpha the t1 is on once the t1 is on the output voltage just follows the input voltage up to angle beta so because this is the induction motor it has a some amount of inductance so the t1 is forced to conduct after pi up to beta between beta to pi plus alpha there is no device is connected in the circuit because at pi plus alpha we are giving a tagging voltage to the t2 once the t2 is on the output voltage is the negative up to 2 pi up to 2 pi what is the waveform is there that we are showing at initially this is a output voltage there. this notch is there this because of this notch only it is giving a variable voltage to the induction motor from the supply this is possible only the firing angle alpha is greater than the load angle of a induction motor this is alpha that should be greater than the load angle this load angle is highly depending upon the how much resistance of induction motor as well as the inductance of a induction motor now we are going to see how the output current will be vary from alpha to pi the output current will be increases from pi to beta output current will come to the zero the same thing will be repeating from this point to this point as well as this point this is the current here. now we have to find out the find the rms output voltage we should know what is the area of the square of curve that means this is representing the vm sin omega t rms output voltage equal to 1 by pi pi is nothing but base length of a repeated curve alpha to beta vm sin omega t whole square d omega t whole root this is representing the this integration is given the area under the square of the curve divided by the base length which gives the average value whole root gives the rms output voltage if we complete this integration finally we are getting the vrms equal to vm by root 2 pi square root of beta minus alpha minus sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 beta by so from this equation we can say very easily that as the firing angle is increases the rms output voltage will be decrease the minimum firing angle here is the alpha equal to you can vary the firing angle alpha more than the pi now what is meant by soft starting mean already we know that at the time of starting the induction motor it will take the more amount of the current so by means of anti parallel scr we are going to start the induction motor so to reduce the starting current we are applying the less amount of voltage to the induction motor by maintaining the firing angle of these two anti parallel scr near to the 180 so very less amount of voltage will be applied to the induction motor the motor will be starting speed of induction motor increases now we are decreasing the firing angle up to the firing angle alpha equal to pi nothing but we are increasing the voltage applied to the induction motor so that we are applying the rated voltage to the induction motor so the motor will be running at a rated slowly this type of starting is nothing but a soft starting of a induction motor sometimes this circuit also we are using to control the speed of a induction motor suppose if the rating of induction motor is very higher use the two anti parallel scr suppose if the rating of a lower then we are using a triac between the source and the induction circuit i three phase induction motor with a ac voltage control in this method we are applying the reduced voltage to the induction motor by means of a three phase ac voltage regulator we know that the torque developed in a three phase induction motor is equal to 3 by omega ms 
into v square r r dash by s whole divided by r s plus r r dash by s whole square plus x s plus x r dash whole square. The slipper induction motor is highest, then the torque is directly proportional to the v square. V is nothing but applied voltage. Suppose if we decrease the voltage, then the torque is decreases. The speed of the induction motor also will be decreased. This is a basic phenomena how we are going to control the speed of induction motor by applying the reduced voltage. But in this case, how we are going to apply the reduced voltage means by means of a AC voltage controller. This is the one circuit. This is the stator of induction motor. The winding is connected in delta. Each line we kept a anti-parallel SCR and diode. So whenever we are keeping a diode here, we don't have any control on the negative cycle of the input voltage. We can able to control only cos two cycles of A, B, C phase voltages by means of a T one, T three. But this circuit is very simple, a low range of variation of the output voltage. Next, in this case also the stator winding is connected in delta, but in each line we kept a two anti-parallel SCR. So whenever we kept a two anti-parallel SCR means we can able to control both positive cycle and negative cycle of a A phase voltage, B phase voltage, and C phase voltage. So the circuit is giving a wide range of output voltage, but it is a Very complex circuit when compared to this because here the six SCRs are there. So for six SCRs, we have to apply the tegrim voltage. The tegrim voltage we have to generate by means of one auxiliary circuit. The circuit is another matter tegrim circuit. So all these SCRs requires a auxiliary circuit. But in this case, the diode does not require any auxiliary circuit to turn it on. Whenever the diode powered by us, it goes to the constant direction. The stator winding is connected in delta in each line. Anti-parallel SCRs are placed by changing the firing angle of the converter. It will give the variable voltage to the stator winding of a three-phase induction motor. So the speed of motor also will be variable. Suppose if the stator winding is connected in delta, this is a circuit diagram. In each line again we kept a two anti-parallel SCRs by controlling the firing angle of these SCRs. It will be applied the reduced voltage to the stator winding of a induction motor so that the speed of the motor will be changed. Next we are going to see the Slip torque acts as a three-phase induction motor with AC voltage. On the x-axis we have taken the torque, and the y-axis we have taken the slip. This is the speed torque acts as a induction motor with rated voltage. This is the reduced voltage. This is further reduced voltage. This is low torque. This low torque is intersecting the three slip torque acts. This is one intersecting point corresponding to this. If you find the slip, this is the value of the slip corresponding this. Point. If you find that this is the value of the slip, this is the corresponding this point. This is the value of slip. Nothing but it. As the voltage is decreases, the slip of the induction motor will be increased, which means that the speed of the motor will be decreased. So by applying the variable voltage to the induction motor, the speed of the induction motor also will be decreases, but the losses in induction will be more, which decreases the efficiency of the induction motor. But this type of armature voltage control is suitable for the And domestic fans and pumps. Now we are going to see the closed loop control of the three-phase induction motor. The outer free loop, inner current loop. Here, this is the three-phase AC voltage regulator. This is the supply. This is the induction motor. This is the tachometer, which is giving the signal how much speed the motor will be rotating. This is speed controller. The speed controller and current controller here. You can take it as a PA controller. This is current limiter. The main function of the current limiter is the It will be operating the converter as well as induction motor within a safe region. Moreover, accelerating from one mode to the another mode, the high torque, so that the transient time will be reduced. Now we are going to see how this closed loop operation will be operated. Initially, we are assuming that the reference speed is a thousand rpm. First case, the reference speed is thousand rpm is nothing but a. Here the firing angle of the SCRs are set such a way that. It is applying some amount of voltage to the induction motor so that induction motor will be rotating at a thousand rpm. Now the reference speed here reference speed is a. Now we are re reference speed we are changing to the thirteen hundred rpm. That is what we are taking today. Come again. Now we are going to see how exactly this closed loop control system will be operated. Whenever we change the reference, already the motor is rotated at a thousand rpm. The error in the speed becomes a positive. That is 300, which is processed by the speed controller, giving a signal to the current limiter. It will be saturated. Once the current limiter is saturated, means the stator current is set to the maximum allowable value. 
once the scatter current is set to the maximum allowable value because of the circuit each line is carrying a current which is same as this reference current high torque will be developed in induction motor so the motor will be accelerating once the motor is accelerating fastly then here the reference value because the tachometer is giving a signal here once it is giving a signal back means the error in the speed will be decreased once it is decreased here the current limiter will be unsaturated so once it is unsaturated means this value will be decreased the reference scatter current will be decreased once it is decreases means now the firing angle also will be altered to apply to this converter in this manner the current passing through the stator of induction motor is equal to the reference value of this one and it makes sure that the development torque in induction motor is equal to the load on induction motor not only that the speed of induction motor is same as the reference value so in this manner this closed loop control circuit will be operating the converter so that the induction motor speed will be tracked the reference value now in second case change in the speed of induction motor from 1300 rpm to 1000 rpm decreasing so here we have the reference speed we have taken 1300 rpm so the speed of induction motor also 1300 rpm. when you decrease the reference speed from 1300 rpm to 1000 now here the error in the speed becomes a negative now this value becomes a negative whenever it is negative this current limiter will be setting the this current to the zero nothing but a the firing angle is applied to the converter such a way that there is no current is passing through the induction. The no torque is developed. But there is some amount of mechanical load on the induction motor. So because of that mechanical load, the speed of the induction motor will be slowly decreases. Once the speed of induction motor is come to the below this reference value, suppose if we take the 900 RPM, because that is read by the tagometer giving the signal here. Once the speed is come to the 900 RPM, now this error in the speed becomes a plus 100. Again, this current limiter will be setting a some value here so that sufficient to develop a torque in induction motor which is equal to the load on induction motor. Not only that, the speed of induction motor also will be tracked the reference value in the second case that is the 1000 RP. So in this manner, the firing angle applied to the SCRs will be changed in such a way that the actual speed of a motor will be tracked the reference value. Not only that, the developer torque and induction motor also should be equal to the how much mechanical load we are keeping on the induction. This is the closed loop operation of a three phase induction motor with a armature voltage function. So, thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box. You can also that I am always welcome to answer all your questions.